Ladies and gentlemen, know what you want from a person before you start showing them signs that you're interested. Okay? I, I think what's happening with relationships is we're getting involved with people and we don't know what we want to do, you know? A lot of relationships start off with sex, right? And as we continue having sex, maybe one person starts to develop feelings. But because we didn't talk about it, because we didn't discuss the rules of engagement here, we're left thinking, well, what do I do now? Do I, do I tell them about my feelings? Do I cut this relationship off? Do I continue to pretend as if I don't feel anything? We're not talking about what it is we want. We don't know what we want. So we engage in things and then we, we get so confused as to how did this happen or why did this happen this way? When you start pursuing someone, you have to understand without a shadow of a doubt what it is you want out of that relationship. Do you want something short term? Communicate that to the person because they may not want that. They may be thinking this is something here for the long term. But if you don't communicate these things, you can run into a lot of problems. You may want a sexual relationship whilst you're home in between uh, uh, school. You know, you may not want to have every, anything serious right now where you're bogged down with a person and you have to have so much commitment. Maybe you just want to feel good. And you know, my, while I don't support it, that's your own choice. But you have to communicate that to the person because you're involved with another someone who feels. You're involved with another someone that's, that thinks, that feels, that has emotions. And it's wrong to lead people on. Um, and it's, sorry, I should actually say it's wrong to lead people down a path that you yourself are not willing to walk. And we got to stop playing with people's emotions because this is 2016. You know, you're making it bad for everybody else who's single and looking, okay? When people encounter individuals like this who lead on, who don't really communicate what their real motive is, you make it bad for the next person. I can't tell you how many people are in this country that are scared to really commit, that are scared to really give someone chances because they've been hurt so much. And while it's all of our individual responsibilities to deal with past hurt, it just makes it hard because everybody is now walking on eggshells. Nobody wants to be hurt again. Nobody wants to, to experience the heartache again. But I'm telling you guys, if we just learn how to be honest and upfront with people from the beginning, we can avoid so much foolishness, all right? I know a lot of you guys are on websites. If you're talking to that person, be upfront with, with what you do, with who you are. Why are you lying, you know? There are seven billion people in the world. And you trying to be like someone else? Come on, man. Everybody else is taken. Be yourself. Be upfront. Be honest. That person who you're pursuing, they deserve to know why you want to pursue them. Okay? And so I think this is just something I wanted to clarify because I know there are so many people in relationships who don't know where it's going. So many people reach out to me. They say, Harrison, I don't know where my boyfriend's going. He doesn't communicate to me. One day he seems like he's loving me. The next day he seems like he wants space. What does he want? Fellas are reaching out to me, they're saying, Harrison, man, this girl doesn't know that I don't, I don't want anything serious right now, but she's pressuring me. It looks like she wants marriage and I'm not ready for that. Communicate, guys. It's that simple. Communicate. If you're fearful of losing that person because you're communicating the truth, then I don't think it's worth being in that relationship for if you can't talk about real, honest things. And we need to stop being afraid of that, okay? We need to start finding courage again. We need to stop being afraid of living. And the only way we can do that is if we're honest with that person who we're involved with. All right? So I hope this message has definitely inspired and encouraged you guys. If it has, you all know what to do. Hit that like and hit that share button so someone else can get this message too. All right? I'll take care.